Good morning, guys. How are you doing? Um, today is September 11th. On the morning of September 11th in 2001, I, my mom and I, were on our way to the local Walmart in Mount Dark. I still lived in Florida at the time. I was going to Walmart to get glasses. A new pair of glasses made. And on the way over there, we would listen to this classic rock station I used to listen to. And ABC cut in. And announced at 827, the, that first tower had been supposedly hit the plane. Then, as soon as we got into Walmart, we told someone. No one knew. We went back to the electronics, a new lady that worked there. We couldn't change the TVs because they were on auto programming. But we were able to change the radio. I found the station. As soon as I got the station found, it was announced that the second building had been hit. I just remember the hair on my arms standing up straight. We didn't stay in Walmart that long. I think it's probably one of the shortest trips we ever made. I took my subscription over to the eyeglass place there. Got the frames I wanted. Paid for them. All that stuff. And then we went home. On the TV all day. It was everywhere all day long. Concept for three days. 24 hours almost. About it. Um, and of course they knew. The media knew. Right off the bat. Who did it. They knew. Some had been lying. No trial, no investigation, no nothing. But some some had been lying. Cat cam. Yeah. I dug this stuff out of the Hulk chest we have in the closet. Um, this is a couple. This is who I think about on today. Famous like this, like the Chapman. Their youngest son was 31. He was a Green Beret. He'd been to Panama, Persian Gulf, and Haiti. He took the most dangerous missions that no one else would take. But he did it for us. For our safety. I want you to look at these people. This couple. They represent what we should be thinking about. They represent the people who have had that unfortunate military chaplain walk up to their door and tell them, Mr. and Miss Chapman, I'm so sorry, but your son has passed. He died a hero. The um, thumb print is going to be them. It's going to be this couple. Because they represent so many other families that have had that dreaded knock on the door. Whether it was from a policeman from that day or a firefighter from that day. This couple, the Chapmans, I don't know if they're still alive or not, but they represent families. Who have buried their sons, their daughters, their loved ones. Because all the bullshit lies that were told on this day. And about this day. Now there have been structural engineers come forward and even said that there is absolutely no way the planes did what they say it did. Now this is an article I found. Not long after, when they were land Doris Bloodworth was the lady's name. She was worked for the Orlando Sentinel. The article is, Inmate says he told FBI about danger to New York. The gentleman's name was, let me see... 
uh, is in here somewhere. Walded Akron. A cure. I'm. Sh I think that's how you say his name, but he served in um, a London prison. Here it is. Brixton Prison Connection. You have. See who these outstanding gentlemen. Khalid Al Fawaz. He was 37, Saudi native. You have. Abdel, Abdul, ba Bori, I think. Anyway, then there's this fine fellow that I would not want for a neighbor in this lifetime or any other. Abiram, Elder Ross, I think that's how you say. Anyway, these gentlemen were in prison with this Wa Walid. And they talked about it openly with him. And he tried. He got, um, it wasn't until after 9-11 happened that he was able to be brought here to a state where his family lived. Now keep in mind, the so-called attackers lived in Deland, Florida, not far from where I live. They went to a flying school there. They didn't care about landing a plane, just flying it. I don't know, maybe they're going to wing it and figure it out later on how to land. But, no. There were too many things. When I think back to how gullible and stupid we were, I'm appalled. All right. One last look at the Chapman's. Remember, these are the people we need to remember today. We need to think about the parents, the families that have been hurt so deeply because of this lie that was told to us 20 years ago today.